Welcome back to Motion Pick Recap. Today we're going to recap the science fiction, romance and drama movie titled, Upside Down. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Somewhere in the distant universe, there are two mysterious twin planets orbiting around a star with their own opposite gravity. Every single object is pulled from the world they come from, and if objects from the two worlds get in contact with each other, they burn. Long ago, making contact with people from the other world was extremely dangerous and forbidden. Up top they've grown rich and prosperous, and down below people struggled and had to steal inverse matter to use as heat for their houses. A giant corporation called Trans World was the only one that was authorized to make contact with the two worlds, who took cheap oil from down below, used it to produce energy, and sold back overpriced electricity to them. A guy called Adam lived with his Aunt Becky since his parents had died in a big Trans World oil refinery explosion. He loved Becky's special flying pancakes, and learned from her an ancient knowledge passed down over the generations through the women of her family, the secret of the pink bees. Becky often sent him to gather pink pollen from the Sage Mountains, which was the only place where pink bees could be found, but which was forbidden to visit. One day, Adam went higher than usual, where inverse rain would happen. Playing with a model airplane one day, an encounter would happen that would change his life forever. Many years later, the girl whose name is Eden meets him at the top, where Adam has prepared to drag her to his world so they could be together. Having fun one day, Adam shares with her some food that is from both worlds, some honey from the pink bees. They play around, and Adam proposes they should pretend they can walk anywhere, and begin walking down the mountain together. But suddenly they hear gunshots and dogs barking in the distance, and they quickly run back. A group of men see them and start shooting, and suddenly, Adam is hit in the arm, and drops Eden, who falls and hits her head. Ten years later, Adam is experimenting with the pink pollen at home. Every day he goes to work at an old industry building, fixing old electronics with his friend Albert, where they're also working on product ideas. One day, Adam sees Eden on TV and learns she works at Trans World, and having thought she had died, he gets overjoyed. While Eden lives a luxurious life up top, Adam is working hard with his experiments down below. Some time later, Adam has started working at Trans World, and goes there for his first day at his new job. He enters his floor, asking where his office is. As he gets there, people have prepared a mean joke for him, which a worker from above called Bob tells him they do to all new workers there. Adam is almost immediately summoned to speak with his boss called Lagavulin. Lagavulin remarks his anti-aging cream idea seems to be promising, and that his application has been approved, but that it's strictly on a trial basis. Adam is asked to sign, and is told people from down below are normally not allowed to hold such an important position as he does, saying they're making an exception in his case. Before going, Lagavulin warns him that he'll be searched every day to and from work so that he's not smuggling inverse matter. If it happens, he'll be fired on the spot. On the news, they report on three individuals that have been hanged for stealing inverse matter metal from Trans World's pipeline, which has now begun leaking. Albert gets angry at Adam for joining Trans World, saying he could have helped him fix a patent for the cream himself. Adam tells him not to forget Trans World took his whole family, saying that if he can use Trans World to give his life some hope, then he's going to do it, asking Albert for his help, and Albert says all right. Somewhere else, Eden explains to a support group that she once hit her head badly, and can't really remember her life before that, saying sometimes things come back in dreams, but that she can't be sure if they are real. Adam receives inverse matter at work, and is told to be careful since it gets hot if not cooled. Bob asks if he wants to join him in the smoking room outside. They begin a friendly conversation, and Bob tells some jokes. Adam tells him about his anti-aging cream, and Bob says he's an expert at conductivity and computers, offering his help in any way he can. Adam asks if he can arrange a meeting for him with someone up top called Eden, and Bob says sure. Bob reveals he's got one of the most astonishing stamp collections up top, and asks if he could bring some stamps from down below, which Adam is more than happy to do. His friends ask if it's worth it to see Eden again, and Adam says it's definitely worth it. Next, Adam works hard on his anti-aging cream, but walks into a small cleaning room now and then late after work to hide metal pieces in an air shaft. He gives Bob some stamps, which he's very excited over, and Adam asks him to find a shirt for him from up top. Some time later, he's showing people from up top the results of his anti-aging cream on a dog. He's asked how long it lasts, and he replies a few minutes for now. They remark they should begin human trials immediately. One day as everyone has left, Adam uses Bob's phone to call the department Eden is working at, saying his name is Bob, asking for her, but is told she's gone home for the day. Adam's friend asks why he's so obsessed with seeing her, since he won't be able to live with her. The second he manages to find her, 
He'll have to leave since the inverse matter will start to heat up and burn him otherwise. Next, Adam is back at Trans World in the cleaning room, starting to put on specially made clothing, putting the inverse matter metal pieces on it. He carefully puts on shoes with metal pieces on them, and suddenly, his gravity has changed. He accidentally drops a mirror, and someone in the staircase outside hears him, and he just makes it out. Next, he's taking the elevator, arriving at Eden's office. Thinking she'll remember him, he gets confused when she doesn't. The woman he spoke to over the phone called Paula explains Eden forgets things due to her amnesia, which she got in an accident. Adam nervously tries to tell a short version about his life without revealing he's from down below, mentioning his Aunt Becky to see if she remembers, but which she sadly doesn't. Trying to figure out a reason that he wanted to step by, he sees something she's working on and puts some of his cream on it, making the structure straight, and comments he might be able to help her professionally. Suddenly, he's starting to sweat and the metal pieces start to burn. He says he'll be right back and runs to the toilet to cool the pieces down. A man enters, and Adam walks up to a urinal to not seem suspicious, but things go wrong, and suddenly the fire alarm triggers. He runs, and some men start chasing him. Eden and Paula remark he's probably not coming back, but remark he was cute. Next, Albert gives him something for his burn. The following day, Adam receives an album of his test models, and Bob jokes those models look really nice. Suddenly, the monthly list of workers who will be fired from Trans World are announced, and Bob tells Adam he's got nothing to worry about since his product has too much potential. Then suddenly, Bob's name is announced, and Bob remarks there must be a mistake. Legavel and then says there's no mistake since he lied about his seniority. Later, Adam says he's really sorry, but Bob tells him not to worry, that it's Trans World's loss, giving Adam a box with his stuff in it, and they bid each other goodbye. Suddenly, Eden calls wondering what happened the other day, and Adam says he was blocked off by security as an alarm went off. She says she'll let him make it up to her over lunch so that he can come up with a better story, and they end up scheduling a date at the Café Dos Mundos. Next day, Adam prepares to go to the world up top, using Bob's card to get out of Trans World. He takes a look around at the world he's always seen upside down, and goes to take a gondola back to the world below. He enters Café Dos Mundos, and gets happy to see Eden. She teaches him to drink upside down, and they start having a great time. Eden shows him one of her projects that she thinks his product could add a lot of value to. Adam remarks those are the Sage Mountains, and they find something in common, that they both grew up near them. Adam's shoes suddenly start smoking, and he asks if they can continue this another day. They schedule a new date, and reaching the ground again, Adam begins running towards the sea. He jumps in to cool down the burning metal pieces, and then drops everything, and starts falling back to his own world down below. Later that evening, freezing at home, Adam thinks of Eden. And somewhere else, Eden starts having dreams of Adam and the Sage Mountains. A day or two later, Adam is finally demonstrating his anti-aging creams that now last much longer. Adam is using creams with different strengths to get different effects, and the trans world audience from up top are amazed at the results. Suddenly, Eden enters, and Adam tries to hide his face. She notices it's him anyway, and asks who he is. Seeing his face, she thinks her amnesia is somehow tricking her brain and leaves. Afterwards, Adam quickly puts on the inverse matter and runs to talk with her. He's told she just left, and he tries to catch up with her. Unfortunately, Bob's card doesn't work anymore, and security starts chasing him as he's running to catch up with her. He runs out of the building and into an alley, and manages to get away. That night, Adam sleeps under a bridge, and somewhere else, Eden thinks of a dream she's had, about the Sage Mountains and a boy. Early the next morning, Bob remarks he knew he was up to something, and welcomes Adam in. Bob manages to counteract Adam's overheating problem with a fix to his vest. Next, Adam shows Bob the invention he's come up with, and Bob remarks that it's better than a good idea, but asks if he didn't give the formula to Trans World already, and Adam says no, that he left out one ingredient out. Somewhere else, Legavolin is told they are missing an ingredient, and he gets real mad. That evening, Eden has invited Adam to Café Dos Mundos again, and he asks if she remembers him, and she replies she's starting too, and suddenly, the two begin to kiss, and then hug each other. But then, border police storm in asking everybody to show identification, and Adam says he's got to run. The officers see him climbing out. He takes off some weights, making him lighter, and then makes a mega jump to a gondola. Adam gets back to his world, and later, sitting on top of the Sage Mountains, Eden suddenly arrives, remembering how they used to meet there, and the two make out as they used to do. Adam puts on his weights again, and they walk down the mountain, but hears sounds, the two see lights and start to run. They are spotted, and Adam asks her to help take weights off. 
the duo start to fly up, all while being shot at. The two reach an old crash zeppelin, and start jumping between inverse matter rocks. But suddenly, an officer shoots one of the rocks such that they fall. Eden is trying her best to hold on to Adam, but is losing her own grip, and since he can't let her come to harm, he releases his hold of her and falls down. Unbeknownst to them, the inverse matter weights made Adam land softly in a tree. As he's on his way home, a car appears, and men from Trans World step out, taking him into the car, threatening him to give the full formula of his invention to the company, or they'll come back for him and make him regret it. Adam thinks for himself that he'll never see Eden again, since police now will monitor her. A few days later, some children ask Adam if all people really are rich up top, and he answers they might be rich, but that many lack happiness, asking if they should give that plane a boost, which they'd like. Somewhere, Eden has received some strange flowers, and somewhere else Bob makes an attempt at the experiment. Not long after, Eden steps by, asking if he's Bob and says she needs his help. Some time or later, as Adam is working at his old place again, someone knocks on the door, and it's Bob. Adam gets really happy and surprised seeing him, and Bob remarks he's not the only one that can walk upside down. First Adam thinks he's wearing a vest, but realizing he isn't, Bob starts explaining he figured we're made up of 90% water, so he experimented with drinking the formula, handing him a card from Eden, and tells him before he goes that, thanks to his stamps, he managed to buy his anti-aging cream patent under the name of Albert and Company before Transworld. Later at Café Dos Mundos, Adam is waiting on his world's plateau to meet Eden on hers, when suddenly she calls his name, and he asks happily how she got down here, and she replies Bob brought her down. She suddenly whispers she's pregnant with twins, and Adam gets surprised and even happier, wondering how that will eventually work. A generation or two later, the repercussions of their love would forever alter the course of history, but that is a whole other story for another time. The end. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this, and hit the like button to help us out. Until next time, take care.